Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, Argentina on Sunday won their third World Cup in 36 years in a penalty shootout. Argentina last won the World Cup in 1978 and 1986 and lost in the final three times. Lionel Messi and Kylian Pape were the two stars of Argentina and France respectively. The match ended 2-2 after 90 minutes but Lionel Messi poked in a goal to put Argentina 3-2 ahead in the 108th minute before Kylian Pape completed his hat trick two minutes before the end of the extra time. At number two, at least 1,760,460 pills of tramadol and other opioids hidden in Indomie noodles parks and others have been intercepted at the Motala Mohamed International Airport, Lagos State, as well as in Gombe State. This was disclosed in a statement by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency spokesperson Femi Baba Femi on Sunday. It was disclosed that a female freight agent, Olaleye Adiola, was arrested in connection with the noodles consignment. According to the NDLEA in Gombe State, a total of 1,154,500 pills of tramadol, refinol, and exol being transported from Onicha and Ambar State to the state by a truck driver, Umar Hassan, aged 28, were seized. At number three, Breeders Association of Nigeria have accused President Muhammadu Bari of neglecting them after the 2019 presidential election. They made the allegation through the national president of Magban, Baba Uthman, in Jelzema. Angel Zema claimed that the president abandoned them after winning the polls. He stated this while briefing journalists in Abuja. They added that the federal government neglected livestock production and the disbursement of 500 billion naira spent on agronomy by the government in the past seven years. At number four, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control on Sunday raised an alarm, alerting Nigerians about counterfeit COVID-19 antigen rapid test kits in circulation. The agency made this known in a public alert released to newsmen the counterfeit BTNX Incorporated COVID-19 Rapid Antigen Test Kits were communicated to Mavdak by Health Canada. Health Canada had said that the fake test kits were sold online in 25 pack boxes by a distributor called Healthful Plus, who does not have a required license. According to Navdak, the packaging of the counterfeit kits resembles the authentic BTNX Incorporated products in color and typeface and uses the BTNX Incorporated. At number 5, Cross River State Government has confirmed death from cholera outbreak in a Kureku community in Abo Council of the state. The case escalated following ingestion of contaminated water from the village water source. Addressing newsmen after the visit to the community and health facilities where those affected were receiving treatment, the Director General of Cross River State's Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Janet Ekbayong, expressed sadness over the development, stating that it could have been prevented if simple protocols were observed. She said about 30 persons were receiving treatment in various health facilities within Abi and Yoko councils of the state. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.